Now the reason why these canister shells are strange is because they feature some sort of firework effect that you don't typically see on other canister shells. For example, loaded mines, portal or ring shells, and swimming stars. These are all effects you don't usually see on canister shells. And these weird strange effects aside, we also have some of the smallest canister shells that you can purchase on the consumer market, as well as some of the loudest. And we're just gonna have an absolute blast lighting all these off. How's it going everyone? It's Cody B Pyrotechnics and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be doing another strange fireworks video. However, do not get this one confused with the annual one we do every year around the 4th of July, featuring fireworks that are indeed strange. But this video is going to have a specific focus on canister shells. Now, for those of you who don't know, canister shell fireworks actually come with a tube that kind of looks like this, and you reload these shells one at a time into that tube. They go up in the air and they create either a starburst or an audible effect. They are definitely a ton of fun to use around the 4th of July, and I believe that these fireworks are probably top three best sellers at every store in the nation. So in order, the top seller is probably things like novelties, then it goes canister shells, and then 500 gram cakes. So that's just a brief overview for anybody that didn't know what canister shells are. Now, for those of you who do know what they are, you are going to see some really unique effects out of these particular canister shells today. Now, even though every single one of these canister shell kits does come with tubes, we are going to be utilizing these mortar racks here behind me because we just have so many shells that unfortunately the tubes that these kits come with are just not enough to fire them and get them all done with in a timely fashion because if we had to sit here and reload these one at a time, tonight we'd be out here for probably three hours doing that. But because of the use of these mortar racks, we're gonna get something like that done in about 20 minutes. So I'm gonna take you through each kit of shells and show you why they're unique or why I consider them strange. And then of course, we're gonna get them set up and shot off later tonight. So let's start down over here with the Ground Zero Canister Shell Kit by Legend Fireworks. Now, remember what I said earlier about canister shells going up into the air and creating a starburst? Well, these have sort of a different effect. Now, as you can see, we got 10 super loaded mines. And what a mine shell looks like is actually pictured here on the side of the box. So a mine is like that break up in the air, except it happens on the ground and it shoots up in a fan. It's really cool. So definitely not typical canister shells right here. And right here, we've got the world famous Neon Diablo shells by Black Cat Fireworks. These are the five inch edition, and this comes in a six pack. Now, the reason why these are strange is because they also come in a 24 pack and inside the 24 pack you do not get these neon reflective foils and this stuff actually looks really cool it's one of the strangest wraps i've ever seen on a canister shell so even though the effects inside this kit may not be strange the wrapping here on the shells definitely is this is what a couple of the shells look like outside of the package and now you can really see that glitter on there and it does have this really unique texture to it. I have just never seen canister shells wrapped like this, and this is definitely one of the coolest looking cans I have ever seen. Next up is this box of Jumbo Bursts Artillery Shell by Cutting Edge Fireworks, and they're not really that strange, but if you open it up, you can see these canister shells have a really weird size to them. So this is not really typical, even when we're talking about smaller canister shells in general, they're usually this size but we've got some like weird in-between mini ones here. So I'm thinking that these are gonna actually break like real canister shells and less like these mini ones over here that I've lit off before. The only downside to this kit is they are using a different diameter tube. So if we take the tube out, you can see it's really skinny. Um, in fact, it's nothing like the tubes you typically see on canister shells. If I hold that up like this, you can see that. Um, but bringing this back up to the table here, I did bring out this other tube that is actually a tad bit bigger than this one, but I think these shells will have no problem firing out of both tubes, so we can get through this shell kit a little bit quicker than we otherwise would if we were only using the one tube. Now this canister shell kit here, unfortunately, I only have two shells left. So I picked these up a long, long time ago in Missouri. And what makes these canister shells strange is unlike most that go up and produce a color break, these produce an audible effect. So you can actually light these shells off during the daytime or at night. 
I really wish that I had more than just two of those shells, but unfortunately that's all I've got for this video. Now moving on, I've got this bag of little tiny canister shells by Legend Fireworks. I have no idea which kit that this came out of, but I can tell you they're a little bit old. In fact, these are pretty standard size for mini cans, unlike the ones we saw over there. Now, I don't have a tube to fire these out of, so it's a good thing I've got this empty ammo crate 500 gram cake by Pyro Pride brand. And what you can do with these mini cans is you can actually just put them in there like that. And because this firework is made out of this plastic mold, I think that it'll withstand the canister shells coming out of there at least for one more use. Also, for any of you naysayers in the comments below, you can see the bottom of this cake is entirely made of wood. And these tubes are literally concreted into that wood at the bottom. There is no chance that this thing is going to blow apart, even if one of those shells blew inside the tube. Here's another shot of the bottom of the rack here if I can get this thing to focus and you can see that wood there in the bottom. So it should work out just fine. If it doesn't, I will be really surprised. Now the next strange canister shell we'll be featuring in this video, you get eight of them. It's by Cutting Edge and they're called Blue Steel. The reason why these are strange is because if we open it up, you can see the canister shells look like this. So they actually have a separate lift charge on the bottom here and then the brake is gonna be housed up here in this casing. It's very irregular for canister shells to look like this because normal canister shells usually look like this and they don't have this separate lift cup on the bottom. Also, the entire kit is called blue steel. So I'm wondering, are these going to be all blue effects? Now this next one here, I'm super excited for. You guys may remember a video where I went to Black Powder Fireworks and did a $100 budget shopping video. And literally right after recording that video, I went straight back into the store and I picked these up. These are six inch portal shells by Iron Man Fireworks. And I believe that they are just ring shells, but they might be double rings. I really don't know. We've got some photos here on the back. And as you can see, this does look like a double ring. Are they gonna finally pull this off in consumer fireworks? I guess there would only be one way to find out because I want to see that done on a consumer level and up to this point, I just haven't. So really high expectations for this canister shell kit. Now this kit here is by Wind of Fireworks and it's really interesting, scatter bombs and you get six of them. And they're also six inch canister shells. Now when these shells go up into the air, so as it's exiting the tube and it's going up in the air, it's gonna have this sort of mine effect like we're seeing pictured here, but this mine effect is gonna be much different because they are using go-getters inside of these shells. So maybe you can see a couple of these stars here. Um, I know the pictures aren't really the best. Maybe we'll get better luck here on the other one. Um, so yeah, they're gonna have stuff like this, which kind of come out of the tube and then scramble around in the air. And as they do it, they make kind of this funky sound. And as you can see, that effect there is called a go-getter or swimming star tail. Now these ones here are definitely pretty cool, but they're also kind of a scam because they say super loud, but I can assure you they are anything but. And what's also misleading is they say six bombs here on the top. These are just mini canister shells. There's really no loud pop to them or anything. In fact, look at the size of this tube here. So I think maybe they either did this on purpose or to try to sell more as kind of like a scam. But we've all probably heard of the boombox shells. And if you're expecting these to do anything like that, you would be dead wrong. And you'll be ripped off at the price tag of $7 for this tiny little kit of canister shells. They're just really not that good. And as you can see, it says shoots flaming balls with reports. But I can assure you once again, there are no reports in this kit at all. So we're down to our last two shell kits here. Let's go ahead and start with the Sunwing Fireworks Ring King. Now this is a six inch ring shell, much like the portals, but I think the portals may feature double rings. If they find a way to pull that off, I'm gonna be really, really impressed. But these I think are just true ring shells. And so as you can see, they feature one ring effect on this side. And on this side too, you're only getting one ring. Now the favorite one of mine is a lace ring or a crackling ring, which is pictured here. But as you can see the differences between these two kits, you know, that right there is a double ring. That would be like a color peony ring with a crackling center. And then if we flip it around, we've got like a green ring with what looks like maybe a silver brocade. And then right there again, red lace with crackle. So really hoping these are gonna be good. And I already know that ring shells are awesome. They definitely look like portals being opened up in the night sky. 
And last but not least, we've got the Camo Blast by Raccoon Fireworks. And what makes this kit so strange is the size of the canister shells. So I'm gonna get these pulled out of here and we'll show you what's up. So at first glance, they don't appear out of the ordinary, right? They just look like regular canister shells. However, if we take a regular sized four inch canister shell, and this is worldwide standard size right here, and put it up next to that, you'll notice that these are a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna take one out and get you a better shot of that. Let's walk these over here in the sunlight and boom, you can really see the difference there in diameter. Even though they appear like normal size canister shells in the box, they are just a bit smaller. So I'm wondering if they're gonna perform the same. Now, the reason why these are so strange is because a canister shell of this diameter does not fit inside of a mortar rack that you might be using on regular canister shells. So actually, if we flip this up and drop that in, you see all of that extra space. But then if we do the same thing with this canister shell, you'll notice it's definitely way more of a tight fit. So that's pretty weird. Not sure why they went and did that. Um, but either way, we're gonna be testing all of these canister shells and it is getting a little bit darker out. So we will be able to get all of these mortar racks loaded up for you and shoot all of these shells off one at a time. And now I wanted to get you guys a shot of every single canister shell we just showed you, taken out of all these different kits here, lined up so you can see the size differences, and even the times when a plastic top is used or a cardboard top. And here we've actually got a variation where they did both. So we've got a plastic top underneath a cardboard top. All pretty cool stuff. So we're just gonna take you through here, smallest to largest. Um, now you can really see the difference here with this one, especially versus normal size canister shells, like a four inch and a five inch, even compared to a six inch shell, it's just not even the right size diameter. But here is all of our canister shells. Man, these things look cool sitting here on the table. And I cannot wait to shoot these off for you. Well, as you can see, I just finished setting up and I cut out the labels on each kit so we know exactly what we're firing at any given point during this entire demo. Also guys, I just gotta show you this. Take a look at this sunset tonight. My God, is that perfect. Here's a wide angle shot for you, look at that. You can just see forever. But as soon as it gets dark enough, we're gonna light off our canister shells. Well, it is dark enough now to start enjoying our strange canister shells. Now, for those of you who have just skipped to this part of the video, please just know that these are not just any canister shells. These all feature some sort of strange, otherwise weird effect, or they are just weird in the way that they are built. For example, when was the last time you seen a canister shell that looks like this? Or how about a canister shell that's just this small? So that's just a quick recap for those of you who skipped to this part of the video, and now we're gonna start lighting them off, starting with the smallest ones. So let's go ahead and start with the Red Rascals. These are officially the tiniest canister shells you can get on the consumer market. Here goes another one. I don't know why they're breaking like that. It's kind of weird. But then again, that is kind of the theme of this video, weird and strange fireworks. Yeah, that is kind of a weird break. I told you guys these things were gonna suck. Here's one in wide angle for you. So that was the Red Rascals again. I believe that these were marketed to be a scam because it says six bombs and super loud, but they are anything but that. And our next canister shells are gonna be fired out of the ammo crate rack. Again, these are also mini canister shells. We'll pull one out of here for you. And this is what they look like, but they are a tad bit bigger than the Red Rascals. And I think they're gonna be a little bit louder too. Okay, a little bit louder. Here goes a couple of them. few more. The good news is the ammo crate 500 gram cake is holding up.
guys. So Garrison over here just figured out that these also fit inside of the ammo crate. So we don't even need to use the tube that they came with. We can just stick them in there because obviously that thing holds up. All right, so here goes our first shell jumbo burst by Cutting Edge. And they're really not that impressive. But that was only the first shell, so maybe a shot at redemption here. Ooh. They're loud coming out of the gun. Yeah, another one. Nice little white strobe. These are definitely louder than the ones we've done in the past. Oh, there's another yellow. It's about as perfect of a yellow as I've ever seen. Me too. Well, the ammo crate held up to the test of firing canister shells. Would I recommend this method? Definitely not, but it was the only thing we had right now because otherwise we would have only had two tubes to fire those shells out of, and we didn't really have a lot for those ones by Legend Fireworks. And of course, this one here is just the oddball, so we had to shoot them out of this tube. So I'm going to go ahead and put all of these canister shells way over here so that we can start enjoying the Camo Blast canister shells by Raccoon Fireworks. Remember, these are just a tad bit smaller in diameter and length than your typical four inch canister shell. Here goes the first one. This should be a huge step up from what we've been doing. Yep. Ooh, that was a big break. Yep, I had a feeling these were gonna break like regular cans. Nice. Yeah, these break about the same as an Excalibur shell. Nice red lace on there. That was a nice one. Ooh, that was a good one. That was like the best one. Let's see what two of those look like. All right, uh, Gar Garrison, you were right on that. The little break out of the larger tube. <laughs> so guys, this goes back to that issue I was talking about earlier. You know, these tube diameters are a lot larger than these. The tubes that they actually come with, as you can see, they fit nice in there, but these tubes are much larger and that's why we got those two low breaks. Here goes two more at regular height. That's better. Big crackling shell. I don't know what that weird silver palm thing was, but that was really loud.
Well, the Camo Blast Shells Raccoon Fireworks, I already said this, but I'll say it again. 10 out of 10 for their size. Okay, so we just lit the Camo Blast by Raccoon Fireworks. Now, they were a bit smaller than a typical four inch can. Now, I would say, Cody, we have easily lit five, six, seven thousand canister shells in our lives. Absolutely. I know I've lit at least that many. And for their size, for what they cost, boy, you could run that up against a lot of the current standard four inch canister shells and not be able to tell the difference. Like the fact that they're saving size and shipping and everything and making that firework, phenomenal job on saving size and still keeping quality. These are the Ground Zero Mine Shells by Legend Fireworks. Now, to be completely honest with you guys, I don't know that they still make these shells because I bought these like five years ago and at that point they were already like 10 years old. So we're gonna see if they still work, Ground Zero Mines by Legend Fireworks. So remember, with these being mine shells, they're not gonna have a break, but check this out. And that's why they're a bit strange. Here goes another one. Yeah, look at that. Straight up stars in the sky. So these would be nice to pair with another canister shell that actually goes up and makes a break in the sky. So you guys can see now just how much different these are from regular canister shells. So now we're moving on to the blue steel canister shells by Cutting Edge. And this is probably the weirdest looking canister shell that we have in the video. Take a look at that thing. So it's got the lift cup on the bottom there just like in a standard ball shell or artillery shell, but it is in canister shell form. And with the name blue steel, I'm wondering, are they all gonna be blue? Here goes our first one. Wow, that was really quick. Okay guys, we gotta talk about this. So on that first one, no sooner did I hear Garrison pull the trigger on that torch, that shell was already coming out of the tube. It looks like the rest of the fuses so far are cooperating. That one was a little quick. They're really nice shells though. I think they're kind of old too, so the fact that they're still working is nice. See, and then like that fuse took forever to go. Yeah. Last one. And that was probably the loudest one. Next up, we got six of the Black Cat Neon Diablo shells. And just look at these shiny things. I absolutely am in love with how these shells look. I just had to refocus the camera there, but just take a look at how shiny that is. It's one of the coolest canister shells I've ever seen. By subscriber request, here goes the Neon Diablos. Oh, I can see why you guys like them. Yep, these are really nice. I can't even get them all the way in on frame. It looks like they change color too. Yeah, these are like a solid canister shell. Last one. All right, gotta give a shout out here to Black Cat Fireworks. These were some solid 10 out of 10 canister shells for their size and especially for not being overloaded. So these next ones here are gonna be the scatter bombs. Now Garrison's actually the one lighting these canister shells tonight and he has never seen this effect 
in a canister shell. So I can't wait to see his reaction and just see what he thinks of them. Not sure how this is gonna look, but we'll find out. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice. So you can really see those go-getters. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that might've been a ring shell. Ah. Hopefully if there's another ring shell, we actually get it to break the right way. Look at that. Those things are really getting up there. Some of those go-getters, I swear, they go higher than the actual shell. Ooh, scattering comets. That last one was kind of a rare effect. Oh, nice. Now those are some solid gans. Yeah, so these things, oh my God. Wind of fireworks, good job. Love the go-getter mines. I just wish that these things would break with go-getters. How come a company has not done that yet? I guess I don't know. Maybe me and Garrison will be the first to do it. So on these next two canister shell kits, like Ring King and Portals, obviously we've got some ring effects and we all know how that goes on my channel. I'm never able to get these things to break right for the video. So in an effort to fix this, I have set up a camera way over there. So parallel with these racks going that way. And then I'm gonna film these shells from way over there. So hopefully with these two different camera angles, we will be able to see every single ring break in the kit. So because these are rings, I wanna shoot them in wide angle, just because shooting them in times one doesn't always work. Perfect. So this is the Ring King kit, by the way. Ooh, that was a nice crackling ring, but it was kind of all bunched up together. Almost perfect. I think the other camera might have picked that up. This is why we do two camera angles on ring shells. And that one, I don't even know what that was. Come on, let's get a good one. Maybe the other camera got that. Okay, I think this is the last one. Better give us a perfect ring. Come on. I'll take it. All right, so those were pretty good, although it looks like we only got two or three perfect rings. But now we're gonna do the portals. And remember what I told you guys earlier on in the video, if they can pull this effect off, I will be absolutely stunned and I think Garrison will too. So Garrison, you're gonna to have to get far enough back to see this effect. I'm excited. Okay, same thing on these, got two camera angles. Let's see what happens. Okay, that first one did not do what the pictures showed, but maybe we'll get lucky on these next ones. Please do the double ring, please, please, please. That was a nice ring shell, but again, not as advertised. Come on, do it. Oh, well, it was a color changer, that's not bad. Come on, we gotta get at least one advertised correctly. Ah, see, they just like change color. That's not what they're supposed to do. Oh boy, <laughs> this is bad. Yeah, hopefully the other camera picked up some of these rings. Well, I guess they can't all be good. Um, in spite of these not being double rings, they were still decent canister shells. 
It's just a real shame that these firework companies have not mastered this stuff. Like, why can't we get these outrageously unique effects in consumer fireworks that we see in the 1-3 market? It really can't be that hard. Last but not least, our grand finale for this video. We've got two of the Zombie Revenge canister shells. Garrison's over there making me think there's more than just these. But we've got these two, and I think we're going to do them both at the same time since you guys already know what these do. It's only one. It's all right. All right, here goes one. <laughs> it lit it. It just didn't go all the way. Yeah, it lit. It stopped halfway. Here goes the other one. Well, guys, happy strange canister shell firework <laughs> video. And with that, we'll see you next time. I honestly think that the best ones in the entire lineup, as far as the size goes, was definitely the ones by Raccoon Fireworks. And then coming back down over here, the Ground Zero Mines were probably the least impressive of the night. And that's just because Garrison and I have been doing a lot with comets and mine shells lately. And so things that are 10 years old just do not even come close to what we have on the consumer market and 1.4 Pro line today. The Diablo shells were also really cool for their size. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really hope we got some of those ring shells on the second camera over there to break the right way. And with that, we will see you in the next one.